Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are gathered to remember those who died here at Weinigen on der Enns and at the other camps during World War II. We also pay honor to the survivors of that terrible time. One such survivor is my father. He was one of the original 2,187 Jews from Radom, Poland, who were selected at the ramp of Auschwitz to work in the Weinigen concentration camp. Thank God my father lived through the terrible ordeal and is able to be here to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the liberation of this camp. My participation in the various memorial activities during the last couple of days, and now standing on the cemetery grounds of the camp, adds a poignant meaning to the stories that were told to me through the years by my father and other Radomers who were imprisoned here. In addition to honoring the survivors, it is also important for us to remember those who didn't survive and are also buried in this cemetery and the mass graves around the camp. As well as being the son of one of the prisoners, I am also the current president of the Radomir Mutual Cultural Center. I am honored to speak to you today as a representative of an organization that was founded by Jews from Radom who survived the Holocaust and came to the United States. I am a member of the second generation, the next step in the chain of generations from those who were at this camp. It is the responsibility of the second generation to continue to remind the world of what happened so that something this horrific never happens again. I'd like to take this opportunity to make special mention of Baroness von Staden. She was a young girl at the time when my father was one of the inmates who worked at her parents' estate. My father told me stories of her family's kindness to him and the other prisoners. Her mother always talked to the prisoners, and my father remembers how she would make sure he would be given an apple to eat and some milk to drink. I am sure her family contributed to saving my father's and other like him. Thank you very much. There are those who say it is time to forget what happened. They want to look to the future, not relive the past. A wise man once said that to forget history is to repeat history. We need to keep reminding the world of what happened here and in other concentration camps around Europe to guarantee such atrocities do not happen again. I thank the Commemoration Committee for building the memorial to help the people of Germany remember and to remind the world that these terrible acts can happen again if the world is not vigilant. It is our duty to share the facts, honor the legacy, and preserve the memories for our children, our grandchildren, and for the future of mankind.